Okay, this is the first entry of a female Gulf Coast box turtle found today, November 3rd, 2017. And I'm calling this one Timid. You could leave this on this brick here for five minutes since it's going to sit up on here. Here's the date I recorded. Dome 74, length 156. 111 millimeters wide, 623 grams, and if I compare it versus all the other data I've got here, let's see I can find it real quick. What I do is I look at the dome height here, 74, and I look through ones that are similar. There's a number 8, possible suspect. Number 10, number 12, 16, 71, anything a little bit, whatever the dome is or less is what I look for. So then if you look at those and then you want to look at the length 156, um, that's a good suspect right there, number 8. And if I go down through here and 16, it's not going to go through and go from 156 down to 180 unless it's all been chewed away, but this looks like it's in good shape. So here's another 118. And here's the one I just entered here, 21. So what I did is you rule out number 20 because it uh, it's not going to get you know, a centimeter smaller unless it's gotten chewed on. And this has got, this is good shape through here. So number eight, what I did is I went through and looked at the video I shot. And it's very close to this one in size. But the shell pattern's different. I mean, you can look at the spots on this versus the older video I shot. And it's a different turtle. You can, so... Identifying by the shell is actually the, it's like a fingerprint. So this is the first entry. It's got a very high dome height. And the shell's in good shape. I might put a, a notch or some Krylon on there. And if I go back and look at 8, it was just last measured here in May 2016. I had some notches on it. And I can't see any evidence of notches unless this is on here. So I've concluded that's a new entry. As a possibility, it's this old number 5 because it hasn't been measured for three years. And it's so old without any data that um, I just start a new entry because uh, when I was taking data back then, it just has, you know, the size here. There's not enough information. Okay, since this one's timid, I'm going to use this as a good example to show the hokiness of trying to measure rings. They really don't mean that much, but if you just want to say, do you count the big ones? This would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, say nine to ten, or do you count the little ones? One, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. You need to get 10 to 20. Um, if I look at this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You know, this is probably one year through here. Many different rings because of the So this is number eight. I'm gonna slowly do a rotation through. 
maybe if I recover this in so many years, we'll compare the rings on the shell. And the bottom here, he probably doesn't like that at all. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. God. One. Or you count the big ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's why it's hokey. It looks, see the dome on that's very, has a high dome height to the length. And that typically is what I observed to be the females. This one you can leave. I could go back inside and get all this stuff. Scale and everything. And it's in the same place. My definition of timber just means that I can go through here and weigh it. It's 622 grams. I got 623 in the book. Some of them I've got to go ahead and put the brick on there. Tear it out and then put it on. Because the legs are off setting here. Moving around trying to push on here, it screws it up. And then if they're really, really aggressive, I put it on the pan, tear out that whole thing, and put it in here like this. There's a 621. There's only one of them, number 12. I've got to do that like that. The pan actually is not big enough. Okay, since it's late in the fall here, and you normally don't see box turtles because it gets colder, I went ahead and put a notch on here, which I haven't done that on some turtles for years, but I suspect I'm not going to see this for another year. I'll put a notch, three away, one, two, three, one, two, three, and those should last a couple years. I don't go too deep with the file. Um, you don't want to weaken this too much in the sense it makes it easier to get uh, raccoon attacks. So they're not that big. And then I went ahead and put a number on there with some paint. I use flat black paint. Uh, that'll dry and it doesn't seem to screw up the camouflage as much. I prefer to, I don't want to use anything in today glow. And there's the mark. You can tell that's a, probably been a male on top because of the scratch line through here. And I still haven't fooled around with the wild program to, um, I need like a fin fingerprint program to figure out the, what I've been doing is I go online and look at the prior videos or the ones I've got saved for the shell pattern and with time some of these get torn up it's difficult to identify but this was similar to number eight but wasn't so I'm going to go ahead and put back where I found it and There it is five minutes later, still when it's 